Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna do a fully guided tour of lifestyle aquariums in Bandura. All right, thank you for joining me on yet another episode of Parker's Reef. For those of you who watched last weekend, we went and checked out Al's absolutely incredible six-year-old custom peninsula reef that has fully grown out some big mature mother colonies of corals and some of the biggest fish including some gorgeous lipstick tangs that I swear are this long beautiful fish in that system and I've said a number of times throughout that video that we would follow that video up a week later with a tour of Al's beautiful store in Bandura. Now I'll put some Google Earth footage over the screen now so you can see exactly whereabouts Bandura is in Melbourne, Australia but we're going to jump in the car, head on over to Al's store. We're going to put a microphone on him so he can take us for a fully guided tour through the shop because he has made a number of updates there of late including the setup of a fan fantastic new display system there that he's really excited to show us. So uh, without any further ado, let's roll the footage of Lifestyle Aquariums and Reptiles in Bandura. All right, here we are, Lifestyle Aquariums and Reptiles. This is Al's shop that we saw his beautiful home tank last weekend. Please excuse the uh, road noise, but uh, I'm uh, sending out on the uh, highway here as the uh, vehicles drive by, probably on their way to see Al's beautiful new display tank. I've been fortunate enough to put a microphone in the man and get him to take us through it, so let's head on in store and check it out. All right, Al, we've just stepped foot into your shop and uh, there's been a big change. You used to have an incredible, albeit old school, but incredible Red yeah. Sea uh, Red Sea uh, Max 650. 650. Yeah, yeah, the big Those are, system. Yeah. You had that running for like 14 years or something? 14 years, nearly 15 years. Wow. I was at, back at home. Yes. When I took the business over around maybe 10 years, even more. Yes. Um, I decided to move it from home to, to here. To and yep. We kept it here. Customers love it. And that was getting probably too old. It's definitely a... Um, For what I want. Everything from the inside was obviously stunning. And you get course. a touch with few corals and fish that you kept for so many years. Yes. And just let them go to another customer. So, <laughs> I mean, from a reef tank, it was absolutely beautiful. No doubt about it. Yeah. From a display tank at a local fish store, a system that no longer you can no longer sell. Like, you cannot get the Red Sea Max 650. I don't believe you can anyway. Yeah. Apologies to Red Sea if you can. Um, and, and methodologies and styles have changed in the reefing world and yeah. you've replaced it with something that is so current and modern. A it little, is yeah, more <laughs> modern. Very modern. I did it as a day. challenge as well. Yes. Um, I'm a really good, I'm a really like a Red Sea person. Yes. Always I've been using chemicals from Red Sea. Yes. I've been talking uh, with a few of my suppliers. Yes. I'm deciding what I, what I was thinking to do here yes and i decide to go with something different definitely so we pick up just a water box peninsula yeah, yeah beautiful six system. foot tank and then i did want to do something different as well with uh, supplements and everything so i decide to go with the aqua forest stuff yes so see something different you know uh, we got the other systems that we still using the Red Sea stuff. Yes. So when we start this tank that is probably nine weeks old, but it's a lot of bacteria from established tanks already. Yes. So that cycle and become more established quicker. Sure. Um, yeah, I make it work. So I'm trying to, normally I run Radiant Slide. Yes. So this time I went for these big boys here. Yeah, the Refactory Reef Refactory Flare. Pro, the large the ones, large and, and they're the blue. blue. So we're running three units here. Yes. 
Um, they look absolutely stunning. They're putting out a heap of light, and Let I think me. you mentioned before that these are nowhere near their peak. You're running these at a low percentage at the moment? We normally run it, because the tank is still too new, I just run it at 30%, 30% only. 30%, wow. And then, yeah, probably when the tank become more mature, we're going to increase You've it You've got that room to, more to turn more. it up, but I mean, I'll get some DSLR footage in there. The SPS are already loving life, which is a testament to the, the yep. bacteria you've brought across the water conditions, but also the lights all, all And a lot of me. water testing, Sam. Yeah, yeah. The tank is still new, so anything can happen. Of course. And if it happen, can happen really quick. Can happen quick, definitely, so, yes. Yeah. Particularly when you're going from a 14-year-old system to yeah. a <laughs> nine-week-old system, it's a seismic shift. <laughs> exactly. We also run in here um, uh, roller from yeah. Refactory, Refactory as well. Refactory roller, yep. yep. Uh, medium size. Beautiful. Working amazing, polishing the water. Fantastic. I did my own plumbing. Yes to extend it and just maybe get some water out of the 13,000 uh, liters per hour <laughs> the big, base pump. Big reef factory from base pump reef in there. factory. So I did three manifolds. I'm yes. gonna get one for the chiller, one for the reactor, and then gonna be one for the UV light. Yes, perfect. That is coming yep, yep. soon. Um, now this system from the sand to the rock, to the supplements, to the water even, Everything all aquaforest. We just did it with aquaforest yeah, this yeah. time. So it's a biosand. Yes. They come dry, but they have the chemicals to build it up the bacteria nice and quick. Yes. And it's a really nice looking sand as it's well. Very really white. white. Sand, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the aquaforest rock too. That yeah. first time you've worked with that rock, I believe. Never done it before with <laughs> aquaforest. And I was even complaining to my supplier, say uh, I don't like the shapes because it's too flat or whatever but i'm in love now it when looks, you've done the aquascape um, Absolutely looks completely different you've got this big cave down at the peninsula in there for fish to swim through and i like the way you've kept the scape low enough to really give these sps yeah. a bit of room thinking to grow about up. the future yeah uh we fill it up and we made our soul with the aquaforest hybrid soul yes yes that a friend of mine took the picture <laughs> that is in the front of the bucket yeah it's got a beautiful so. picture on that bucket that one <laughs> so yeah really happy as well you can tell the result just with the happiness of the corals yeah, I mean, and everything seeing pulp extension like that out of sps in such a, a new system is always a refreshing sight yeah it's and a, it's not just the sps the lps and they're looking great the fish Look a treat, and these are the clowns from that system that you've had. So the previous, yeah, the, from the previous setup. So these clownfish, they're gonna be this year in April. They're gonna be 34 years old. Wow! Wow! Yeah. So I heard that they just last in captivity probably up to 35 years. Yes. So hopefully that is not true. <laughs> hopefully they've will, got yeah. many years of uh, happy life. Yeah, but still they come. I mean, still they both healthy. look very healthy, yeah. And they still lie in eggs and everything. Yeah, amazing. So. Wow. Well, they've definitely got some good years left in them yet. But uh, what a beautiful yeah. system. I do really like um, a few things on this. I, I love the lighting setup. I love how clean that looks across the top. Super tricky to do with a peninsula system because yes. you don't really have anywhere to hide. I love the um, MP40s at the end here with the cables hidden along that uh, lighting frame just to keep it, again, another challenge with the peninsula is that, is the flow at that end of the tank and you've done that really well and you can see the flow on top of this system yeah, absolutely with, dialed in. So MP40s, they're really powerful. We're running only at 60% each, Yes. otherwise going up just yeah. move all this sand You'll be around. the floor very often. Plus, this is a lot of help as well. With yes. a 13,000 liters per hour pump yeah, yeah, yeah. in a six foot is a lot as well. It's a lot of flow. So the combination of both is a just work amazing. And you can see that flow just, yeah, rippling along at a nice little wave action happening. Yep. Super cool system. Like I said, it's nice to see a display nice and modern, uh, using equipment that people can buy from you today. Exactly, can... and what I said to customers and what made me make the decision as well was that the, these guys, they, um, they're here in Melbourne. Yes. So any warranties or, or whatever, they're really helpful. Yes. And so yeah, nice that's quick. one of the reasons I said, yeah, that's easy, yep. that's a, yeah. And Anyone can buy it. If it's not in stock, we can just go pick it up. It. Yep. Next day, you can have it, exactly. or even same day. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and you know, 
combined with the fact that it can produce a system like this. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm really happy that. with that and yeah. No, it looks great. Well, so this is probably 10% that whatever I got in mind to put in this <laughs> You've got some boy. big plans. So people have to come in store and check it out. But yeah. uh, you've got plenty more to show us, Al. Should we maybe have a look at what's over in uh, this little NEM tank over yeah. here? Yeah, NEM on its tank. So we're just keeping here a little bit of everything. Yes. Mostly bubble tip anemones. Yes. So they're the green bubble tip anemone. Is a forest and fire anemone. Yes. We got a really unusual one in there that uh, is a floral orange tips. Yes. At the very back, yeah, and it's yeah. like a like a light green color, and we got this beautiful um, blue giant yeah. anemone. Blue gig. Oh, look, I wouldn't say it's massive though. It's a really desirable size. Sometimes blue gigs can be huge and require like a ten foot tank because yeah. they want to spread out. No, that guy this is one is just a perfect size. Nice size. He's sort of like a bread and, and a lot plate of people. Size. I, I remember a lot of people used to say that. Um, Ocellaris clownfish never host into that. Oh, right, okay. Only the the tomatoes or, yes. or the skanks, they do it, but they normally always in the anemone. So if yeah, you right. see here at the back, Sam, you see the Ocellaris just oh, yeah, loving yeah. life in there. <laughs> it's made a little cave underneath there and he's quite happy, protected by that gig in there. It looks stunning. What a yes. beautiful piece. And I, I know you pride yourself in being able to track down showcase fish and corals for your customers and this piece i believe has sold yeah, yeah. it's it's found in your home but we've managed to hang on to it just long enough to get it in the video but yeah so this uh, blue jet is a uh, it's been sold yesterday actually yes, yes. so we sold that it. it's going into a new home It's a six foot uh, water box beautiful um for a customer yes he joined few tanks together yep, yep the water box is new but he got existing tanks and sure. everything is plumbed into the same system yeah wow so gonna be you just cool decide to put a masterpiece in there and <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not? gonna be the blue one for why sure. not no that's an incredible piece incredible uh incredible combination of nems in there i must admit i've often heard people have trouble keeping the forest fires with other bubble tips yet you all seem to be doing just fine in there. They're, They're friends. They just uh, cuddle yeah, together. Yeah, you've got them <laughs> literally touching each other there and um, no trouble at all. So that is a refreshing sight to see. And apart from the clowns, you've got a nice big so hole in there. Just yep. doing, his, doing his thing in there and some so other fish. This so hole was living in here in this uh, same system. Yes. So this is an eight by four by 400 high. Yes. But I did always want to put an Achilles tank. <laughs> and we got a big Achilles tank here. You managed to pick up just a little um, Achilles. He barely fits so under the rack there. So Soho tanks, they're very, very territorial. So yes. I did want to just uh, avoid any problems. Of course, yes. With when you uh, get a fish as rare as an Achilles, you don't want to uh, risk fighting. either of them. And then this guy has been just amazing, friendly, showpiece. So. I don't know if I'm gonna keep in here in the future or gonna move it into the beautiful new display. <laughs> so big, I like just fish. minimum fish here. Yes. But yeah, something just masterpiece. Beautiful, so. beautiful. And this is your SBS sales tank. This is where you so sell your SBS. So this is gonna from? be. A, it's always been a frag yep. sale tank or yep. big colonies. So we didn't get any SPS this week, but however, we still got beautiful You've still got pieces. a pretty good supply there. I mean, there's yep. no shortage of um, Normally, it's frags. very, very full. <laughs> you've got heaps of frags. You've got heaps of wild colonies, some beautiful uh, multi-cap swirls over there, some really nice aquacultured frags. I love some of these uh, uh, echinata chalice there. Have a look at this guy. What species is this? This has got some great polyp extension. <laughs> Very, very furry. Also, the strawberry shortcake is showing some. Yeah, yeah. Crazy polyp extension in these systems here, and there's no shortage of flow. And you see from the top down, there's uh, no chance of detritus settling in this system. It's um, flowing <laughs> like mad. Yeah, we got three MP40s here in this side, one MP60. Yes. A massive, I don't know actually the brand of that, but it's very big. <laughs> big Another pump. two big uh, big wave makers at the bottom just moving 
all the detritus and everything. Moving it around nicely. And then yeah. an L2 um, <laughs> vector <laughs> pump. Return. Yeah, yeah. So calcium reactor. Yeah, I love there. the way you got the custom reactor on show there, so people can see yeah. how you're going about supplementing this system. And um, yep. so yeah. So sales here, all the uh, rock, so real reef rock. We got the aqua forest rock. Yes. Or we got just the um, just uh, normal. Um, just dried out. Live dry rock. Yep. life rock. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So a lot of people like dry life rock, and yes. it's a bit more affordable for of customers. Of course. So into the same system, so these three systems, they're connecting each other. Yes. We just try to make a mixed reef um, a display. Yes. So we got in here, yeah. All the most common ones, so purple, monty, green and red, trying to join them together. Looks great. Red one is taking over, obviously. <laughs> Red's it's always very popular. Uh, Rainbow Millie. Yeah. We got at the back uh, Walt Disney in Walt there, Disney in there yeah. Blue Stackhorn. A staple for UL. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Gold uh, Nugget um, uh, Acro. Yes. At the back. Nice clam. Beautiful clam there, yeah. I uh, love this turbinaria too. The color yeah, on that, that is, is super, super bright. Stunning. Looks very healthy. And this is a Duncan, but yes. if you see at the back of the clam, it's not a Duncan, but looks like one. And it's a. Um, cap a uh, peacock right so when they get the polyps you're gonna see it around here yes they normally look no more like this ah, this one got a beautiful extension as yeah, well yeah yeah right, but right. that's what it is and looks like a duncan it because does. you cannot see the base <laughs> it's fully extended out yep yeah yeah it looks great nice scully on there Fathias, monty's down here and then yeah have a look at this euphilia garden in place of sand, you've just got a euphilia garden. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, nice, elegant system. starfish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of mix. Um, no more uh, Dallas coral and yes. then the red polyp Dallas. Oh yeah, the red polyp is looking very vibrant there too. The really nice colors on those polyps, looking great. Yep. Yeah, beautiful system. Looks fantastic. And then, yeah, this is the same coral system over here, but uh, you can see because it's so large, you get a different view of different corals over this side. And you've got some nice uh, encrusting pieces here, some big, big red chalices. These things are very large, about the size of my hand. More of the aquacultured frags there. Some of them are well beyond uh, frags, like this guy here is absolutely massive. Likewise, the Monty here, that's a big piece. And any of these big frags, and nice and hairy and they've been here since little yes but they grow really quick because of the calcium reactor yes they sell for 50 dollars per wow little. cheap yeah cheap very affordable. all the filtration here niles big schema again yep, yep. all the plumbing connecting the both systems kh keeper yes. now it's red i'm gonna check why <laughs> need to be normally green um, normally if you change too quick that show that of course Refugium, the challenge with holding UV light, systems. everything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it works well. And you got a combination of lights on this system. Yeah, so we got the old reef factory lights. Yes. Uh, reef, fa reef factory barbs. Yes. Barbs, sorry. Yes. And Gen 4 Gen radians. radians. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. little combination giving a fantastic, I mean, obviously things are growing well in there because uh, yeah, these frags aren't frags anymore. and. The ones that are on tiles, you're struggling to see the tiles, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's growing well. And it's always nice to buy a piece that's growing rather than a piece that's yeah. just surviving. So a great way to pick up SPS, that's for sure. So they're the Gen 4s here, but we're running Gen 5s into okay. the display there. And just for the anemones, it's just the, uh, just the Hydra, uh, Hydra 52. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's doing a great job and I didn't want to put too much light because otherwise the, the yeah. anemone is going to spread all over the tank. <laughs> if you put a small one, all the anemone is going to get closer and going to look center, more yeah. stunning. Well, it's working well. Yeah. Looks fantastic. <laughs> Al, you've got some pretty special stuff in this first uh, coral yes. system in here. So I'm... Um, this is one of my personal collection, and then it's a um, few from my employee, Blake. Yes, yes. So we're trying to collect a lot of dash corals. 
they can become very expensive but <laughs> I did wanna um, um, collect few of them that are gonna be nice in the new display oh they will be an absolute treat for so, me yeah. even in a holding system like this they look incredible you've got a great assortment of colors patterns sizes in there yeah beautiful and these ones might be your collection, but it does give customers a taste for the sort of pieces that you can track down for them and yeah. build their excitement in Deshi as well, which is super, super cool. Yeah, we were talking about this yesterday and we said that nature is just incredible to yeah. produce something oh. like that in the ocean. I know, the colors with and that patterns. colors, they look more like a candy shop. They do, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy, crazy nice pieces. One of my favorites as well. Yeah, the red sign areas. Yeah. Beautiful Gorgeous. pieces one of my favorite fish as well swimming in there trying oh, to yes. get some air <laughs> so that is the female leopard wrasse yes yep so really good fish as well beautiful um we got a few um cell tank of the bubble tip anemones yes in the stock tiny um orange shouldered like the one in display yeah yeah you really a good. couple of real juvenile orange shoulder yeah, tanks they're in here, tiny cool. they're territorial yes but they're good to have because they're the one of the best uh, algae eaters yes yep, yep. and if you have it from little i don't think gonna get too territorial or make a trouble in your tank yes uh, another um another leopard leopard ras. we just got them yesterday so they just um, in the holding systems while we work things out yep so all the snails here so we yes. got turban snails we got elephant snails sand sifter starfish just a normal orange starfish yes. an elegant starfish big blue starfish they're really good but you need to have your um corals nice and glue <laughs> yeah, together they can those things because they bit. can be heavy yes and knock everything down <laughs> uh here we just receive um a lot of the big colonies big of the colonies duncans of duncans got some nice Beautiful gonies brands. in here yeah got some more red gonies there opening up soon yeah plenty of gorgeous elegance a couple of real elegance. stunners in there too the yellow tip in the middle here and then the one behind it with the sort of translucent uh, tentacles, absolutely With beautiful. Blue tips, yeah. Orange tips, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, pink. Stunning pieces and some nice trachophilia in there. Yep. Nice pieces, bubble corals, got some lobo, nice candy canes. In fact, speaking of trachophilia, some really nice ones in there. And then you've got some fantastic extension on these torches here. They look great. Yeah, we've been um obviously keep good water condition yes and at the same time we're just trying to um uh, dose a little bit of um what do you call the manganese yes so that will help a lot the gonipores and yes. also any torches or yeah well they look like they are and, loving yeah. life in there so that's working through you got some nice gonies up there on the uh, rack as well got the yep. very bright pieces they're only 50 dollars each wow per cheap rack. cheap Big um, blasters. Blasters, got some nice LPS in here. I love that fungia back there. <laughs> yeah, nice colors. Polyps on that are beautiful. Extension. Yeah, nice pectinia behind him. Beautiful pieces. And some more torches, loving life up there. And then this is a great collection of helio fungi. Yeah. It's a nice assortment of colors there that um, you don't see such variety of helios that often. In fact, but yeah, they are Helios, right? Yeah. <laughs> it started to question the second one. I'm like, no, that's a torch. No, no, it is a Helio. Helio, wow. It's a big extension, yeah. Beautiful pieces, yeah, really nice. Star polyps. Great coral, really easy, forgiving, and um, grow quickly. Yep. More Gwaniporas. Goonies. Palm cuts. trees. More star polyps. A few of the hairy mushrooms. Yeah, beautiful. And then we move on to some Euphilia. Yeah, so we got different um colors here yes uh normally that looks bright but this refactory bar is off for some reason <laughs> normally <laughs> you can see more brighter than that and you can actually see the colors so they're normally only 65 dollars wow 80 so 110 or two for 200 yes a few more elegance um not as um not as high as the other ones? Yeah, as high yeah, They still look pretty nice ones. to me, wow. Bright pieces. More hammers, a little bit bigger sizes. Yes. 
big collection of uh, uh, leathers. Got some fantastic leathers in here, both of like your toadstool varieties and the, the finger leathers up this end. Yeah, which... finger leathers, uh, sinularias, that's toadstools, devil hands. Beautiful, uh, such a good collection of them. I know soft corals are becoming really popular again. Yeah, and, and they're easy to keep. Yeah. Fill it up the tank, make the tank look busy and beautiful. It's big, good color, plenty of movement. There's, there's lots to love about them. Different bubble. So yeah, got nice we got the pink bubbles. one, they're yeah. the more like a greenish color. Definitely. A grade mustard uh, hammers. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, more hammers, more hammers. <laughs> more hammers, more hammers. Yeah. And uh, these these soft corals here, these are beautiful too. So they call finger leather as well. They're the okay. same family of the leathers. Yes. But they're the yeah, silver uh, really finger nice leathers. Contrast, oh, pieces. they're the same family of the ones that people call cookies and cream. Okay. Yep. So, yep. yeah, really nice. Really nice assortment of coral from so, SPS, LPS, soft corals, you name it. You've got, and you said you didn't get SPS this week, but man your coral tanks are full regardless so. yeah normally is packed <laughs> but yeah a lot of people prefer more movement yes so yeah Looks i find great. now that it's good to have a little bit of both yes yes sps on top but you really need to have experience if you want to keep the sps yes um yes. is a little bit tricky to do it now we've got some fish that we can have a look at as well yep just walk through here so we got new freshies. So we got some um, medium sized lipstick tanks. <laughs> medium, these guys are about a tenth of the size of yours at home. <laughs> <laughs> we got um, Flame Hawk. It's hiding oh, yeah, in there. I can see the him down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful fish. Love a flame Nice hawk. and peaceful. Clean and ras, convict tank. We got a tiny baby harlequin tusk. Oh wow! I he never is. seen anything that little before. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Is what? They are funny how when they're juvenile, they're, they're basically and black and white, and yeah. then as they mature, they get all of those beautiful harlequin colors. Red chorus ras in there. Oh yes. Bristle tooth tank. Rasses. An another tiny uh, orange shoulder. Beautiful, nice small scopas too. S small scopas, Pickle. long nose. Uh, a butterfly by color angel more scopers more bristle tooth tanks more lipsticks we got a uh, small um stripes if you have a problem with aptation yeah this guy is gonna these are nice that out. juvenile size and i mean you see compared to the size of my index finger there the smaller a stripey is, the longer you've got of them eating Aptasia before they decide exactly to go for your right. elegance and things. So, yep. um, that's the size you want to buy them at if you're getting them. Definitely for algae control. If you're just enjoying them as a fish, then by all means go any size. But uh, they do grow quickly, so get them small and uh, watch them grow. But uh, yeah, good to see a great collection of nice baby stripies there. So we got a gold ring tank or Stunner. white chick tank. Very tricky, same take care of the Achilles tank or, yes. or powder, uh, powder blue tank. Yes. So they're really sensitive to get white spot. Yes. So you need established tank and the right equipment to keep them alive. Yep. Um, few rasses riding, uh, hiding in there. Just a lunar ras, beautiful yellow lunar ras. Just, just see his face looking out at us there. <laughs> let me just move the rock. There is Stana they're really affordable price fish with a beautiful nice colors big rats, that fish yeah. only goes for maybe 65 to 70 dollars yeah only. wow not expensive at all um lion fish for the predator fans out there yeah i got a niger trigger yeah nice nice few black and white um damsels in damsels there. yep yep for the collywood supporters <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know if you're able to see here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a made tank, really large size, beautiful fish, beautiful colors in the face, um, pyramid butterflies, more lipstick tanks. Beautiful. Um, you have a good assortment of live rock on hand as well as your dry rock out in the um, in the other room. 
and then they come in with a few Superman Rodactics. <laughs> live rock with a bit of life on it. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic. And you do obviously not just have marine here, you've got freshwater, you've got reptiles as well, which we won't cover on the channel, but uh, I know there's a lot of crossover of people that uh, do enjoy other animals in their hobbies. And yeah. as a quick pan through over here, you can see these systems look absolutely beautiful. I know you've recently updated the tanks. So this is all uh, African cichlids. Yes. So they're tropical fresh water, but high pH yes. levels. And then here we got all the tropical uh, fish, just a normal pH. So yes. all more like a community tanks. We got live plants in here, but yeah. Full, full range of things there for those who enjoy the uh, less salty side of life. And um, <laughs> you've also been doing a lot of uh, pond fabrication of late. Yes, we normally um, um, build uh, ponds as yes. well for yep. customers with professional filtrations yeah, and waterfalls and yeah, that yeah. sort of stuff. Given the dream so, looks fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll do a pan through some of the um, dry goods in store because I know we're, we're in the store now during opening hours and um, it's awesome to see that you're absolutely flat out. So yeah. I've taken plenty of your time today, so I appreciate it. I'll continue the video with some dry goods and yeah, um, yeah we'll wrap things up there. Appreciate it, Al. No worries, Sam. Thank you for coming. Cheers. All right. All right, so whilst Al goes and takes care of the many customers that were in store waiting for his uh, time, I'll do a quick tour around the rest of the shop, including this uh, cold water section of freshwater fish here. There's some crazy fish here that uh, you go from your standard goldfish through to some uh, slightly different items there, but uh, we'll pan across here and check out this uh, nice freshwater display that has, I'm always a sucker when their freshwater displays have plants growing up and out of the water. There's just something about uh, the tank taking over the space it's in, which uh, appeals to me for some reason, <laughs> but uh, we've also got some insects and uh, various reptiles around here, including uh, some turtles here, which uh, we touched on before. Al's business is doing quite a lot of uh, pond setup and maintenance now, so uh, your turtles and your goldfish and things like that are obviously a very popular items and there's all of your parts there required for ponds over here you can see we've got a, a great selection of different foods from uh, tropical through to some other brands there for uh, your marine your freshwater your ponds and then obviously down to specific fish as well in those selections there's also some nice uh, little breeding caves there there's this pretty cool little uh, paludarium going on over here, which has got this cool figure of eight sort of style to it. You've got all your standard sort of uh, fresh water uh, little power filters there. Got some uh, T5 and T8 tubes there, some filter pads. Moving on to a little bit more marine style here, we've got a different assortment of salts from uh, Aquaforest Red Sea Atlantis, a nice new Melbourne option. And uh, of course that hybrid pro salt, which has a picture taken by yours truly on the cover. And of course there is the full complement of the Red Sea supplements and products there. A freezer with no shortage of frozen food in there and up behind the counter you'll find some of the uh, medications and more expensive items like your pumps and lights. Medications from API, Continuum, Seachem there. Uh, some more items below the counter that also has a nice little display but uh, popping over to the final section of the store which is where there are a couple of beautiful freshwater planted displays here again with the uh, plants growing up and out of the water which always looks pretty cool in my book see that one there it's just got a nice little canister underneath it with a couple of u-pipes coming up to it got the uh, water box system here the infinia 165.4 on the floor ready to go. So when people walk in and see that brand new water box display and say, Al, I want this in my home, he can bring them over here and we can load it straight into their car. Now there is also a water box system over here. This is their top of the line Alex with the uh, cabinetry taken off it so you can have a good look at it there. But if the top of the line water box Alex is not what you're looking for, after something a little bit more simple or more affordable, Al has a full complement of systems on the floor ready to go. So you can rest assured, there is no shortage of items to check out at Lifestyle aquariums and reptiles in Bandura. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of Al's beautiful store, Lifestyle Aquariums and Reptiles in Bandura. If you're a regular or if you're new and are gonna pop into his store, be sure to tell Al and the team that you saw it right here on Parker's Reef. I'm sure they will get a great kick out of it. And after seeing that footage, why wouldn't you wanna pop in if you're remotely in the area? Fantastic assortment of fish, coral, dry goods, whether it be salt, fresh, or even ponds, the team there have got you covered. Now, if you have been enjoying the store tours, 
Fear not, I've got even more to come. Next weekend, we're gonna go out to Aquamarine Aquaristic who have some beautiful corals and some really, really nice display tanks. So I might split that into two videos. We'll do the store tour first and then we'll follow it up the second week with a deep dive into their display tanks, which uh, the team there, Jono, he gets really enthusiastic about those display tanks and there's a lot to go over. So um, we'll be sure to get him microphoned up as well so he can take us through all of the intricacies. And if you wanna make sure you do not miss that video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner and make sure you enable the bell notification. It costs no money at all, it takes two seconds of your time. It will just ensure that next time I release a video, which is the same time each week if you haven't caught up on that one just yet, you will get notified and you can watch along with us there. Other than that, if you've got any questions or comments for Al and the team at Lifestyle Aquariums, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. I do personally reply to each and every comment there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. And if it's a question that I need to relay to the team, I can do that on your behalf. Other than that, guys, I hope you've had a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.